Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how to operate the climate control in your S-Class. The heating and air conditioning system in your car provides a wide range of comfort settings, including fully automatic operation. You can adjust the settings using the 11 silver buttons along the center of the dash, or through the climate menu at the bottom of the command screen. To learn how to use your vehicle's command controls, please view the separate video covering its easy operation first. Let's start with the basic adjustments using the buttons on the dash. The two outermost buttons turn on the fully automatic mode for the left and right sides of the cabin. The next two buttons in adjust the temperature for each side of the car. You'll probably find that for most seasons, using the auto modes and a temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit offers year-round comfort. Even after the car is parked in a very hot or cold day, you don't need to change these. The cabin won't cool down or warm up any faster by making the settings lower or higher than the final temperature you desire. The third button from either end controls the blower, with a separate fan for each side of the cabin. Press the button up or down to raise or lower the blower speed. When the auto mode is engaged, the fan is controlled automatically. The remaining five buttons operate features for the whole system. The recirculate button, with an icon of a car on it, shuts off the flow of outside air. Keep in mind that your car is equipped with several filters to help keep out dust, pollution, and odors, and their sensors can temporarily activate this mode automatically if they detect a sudden increase in pollution. The Max Defrost button can be used to quickly clear a fogged windshield. With just one touch, it sends the maximum amount of warmed, dehumidified air to the front windshield and side windows. When you press it again, your previous settings are all restored automatically. The rear defrost button electrically heats the rear window to help clear fog and light frost. It automatically times out after about 20 minutes, but the system can extend that time based on the outside temperature or other conditions. The rest mode can help keep the cabin warm or ventilated for up to 20 minutes after you turn off the car, using residual heat or just by running the fans to vent the cabin. This can be handy if you park the car for a short time on a cold or a hot day or if you're waiting for someone with the engine off. But never leave children or pets unsupervised in the vehicle. The middle button displays the main climate menu on the screen. You can also reach this menu using the command controller by sliding it back twice to the lowermost menu. The climate menu lets you fine tune various settings from the strength and direction of the airflow to varying the temperature between the footwells and upper cabin. And you can make the same adjustments to the temperature, fan speed, and auto modes that you can do from the buttons on the dash. Below that menu is another sub-menu. From here, you can synchronize the system so that the whole cabin becomes one zone or you can turn the system off completely. You can also control the rear cabin settings on models with four zone climate control. Or you can turn the system off completely. Please note that if you uncheck the AC setting, the air conditioning compressor will not run. This will limit the system's ability to cool the car and to dehumidify the air, which is how it clears fogged windows. We recommend leaving AC checked whenever possible. On models with four zone climate control, you can adjust the rear cabin settings from the front panel or passengers can operate it from the rear panel at the back of the center console. From the front panel, select rear settings from the climate submenu. Then make any adjustments using the on-screen menus. You can also use the temperature, fan speed, and auto buttons in the dash, but please note the controls will revert to the front system after a few seconds of inactivity. To adjust the rear cabin settings from the rear panel, first turn the panel on via the third button from the right. Once the panel is on, it will show the current settings. Use the buttons beneath each setting to make adjustments to the temperature, fan speed, and airflow, or press the auto button for full automatic control. If you see a symbol that looks like two seated people, that means the driver is controlling the system from the front panel. This icon will turn off after a few seconds, once the driver is no longer making adjustments. And you can again use the controls in the rear. 
The round air outlets in the dash are adjusted via turn knobs near the vents. Each knob operates an electric flap that allows more or less air through the vent, or closes the vent. There are two more vents in the back of the console, for the rear cabin. Press the knob to pop it out, then twist it clockwise to increase airflow, or counterclockwise to decrease it or close the vent. You may notice a slight delay as you do this. To adjust the direction of airflow, simply move the middle fin up, down, left, or right. If your car has the air balance package, some new features help elevate the air quality even further. They're all controlled via the command menu. An ionizer uses electricity to remove impurities from the cabin air, much like a summer storm makes the air fresh and clean. From the climate carousel menu, select ionization and switch it on or off. The ionizer operates through the leftmost dash vent, so make sure it's open. A new fragrance atomizer can add a subtle scent to the air through its own ductwork. Four aromas are available, and they come in an elegant bottle that's held in the glove box by an electromagnet. To turn it on or off, select Air Freshener from the climate menu. You can also adjust its intensity. The atomizer will operate even if you switch off the climate control system. The fragrance is released every five minutes or so, and it won't stick to the interior surfaces or your clothes. Please see your operator's manual for more information, including the four-zone climate control option. Remember, there's also an on-screen digital operator's manual in your command system. If you have further questions, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.